This is the unfortunate result of my first flight with my hobby zone champ RTF. It's resulted from a stall spin crash from approximately 20 feet of altitude above the ground. And as you can see, it did a good job of shearing the right wing off. Had my doubts about a ability to repair, but figured why not give it a try. So I purchased these two items at my local hardware store, some standard paper clips and this Gorilla Glue, which if you'll note actually says it bonds foam, which is of course what the wing is made of. So I first went ahead and took the paper clips and opened up them into as straight of a line as I possibly could. We're going to use these kind of like you would have rebar strengthening concrete. So I'll quickly forward advance here. I used approximately a four inch length, two inches in the wing, two inches in the top and part of the aircraft. Carefully insert those and remember that the angle of insertion needs to fit with the dihedral or the slant of the wing. So fast forward, here's all four that I put in and I didn't do the best job at getting the slant. I, I needed to have a little more angle up but uh, you'll see it still still worked out reasonably well. Getting all these to line up was a bit of a challenge. You might get away with having two or three of the clo uh, safety pins, rather the paper clips. The more you have, the harder it is to get them all lined up. But uh, we were still relatively successful. At this point, I have not used any glue yet. That's important. Here you can see I'm actually getting it lined up and uh, trying to get all four started evenly. Sorry I didn't have the camera set up perfectly here, but uh, obviously I wasn't putting too much downforce on that wing or could have broken the, the second wing. So I would say I got it lined up about 90% correct and decided that was going to have to work and be close enough. It's time to add some of the Gorilla Glue. took my best shot at the hardware store of what's going to work with foam. This was actually the only one that indicated it was good for foam. And uh, the nice property about it is that it actually expands. It says on the back, glue will expand three to four times. So what that does is it's going to actually push into the, into the foam on both sides and create a, a bond for the two wing, or for the wing and the uh, place where it's broken. So I, I initially kept it separated only about a sixteenth of an inch but then decided to, to get the glue firmly in there. I opened it up to about a quarter inch gap and laid in a bead of, uh, of the glue which is quite jelly. Um, it's not thin like your normal super glue. I laid a healthy bead but I didn't want to overdo it knowing that this stuff was going to expand slid the wing in together and now it's a matter of uh, patience and allowing. This is about halfway through the drying process. It takes a total of about an hour and I like the glue because it remains a bit malleable um, until it firmly sets after an hour or so. But uh, you'll see it looks a little different on the final product. Had one glitch during the repair. Uh, the aft fourth um, paper clip actually protruded through the bottom of the wing. So I decided to make a very delicate and small cut in the very end of that so that I could sink it down into the foam 
and and I glued and secured that. The reason I decided to keep it was I have a small fracture in the lower side of the wing that runs about an inch from the wing root and knowing this is on the outside is going to give that a little bit of extra strength. Here's the rest of the repair and fast forward. Again, the most important thing other than getting it securely fastened to the aircraft fuselage is the dihedral angle and my angle is a little bit low on the right I had to massage that as the glue finished drying to try to bring it up a little bit but you want to make sure that you're monitoring that as the glue uh, is is still malleable and before it sets now it's time to go out and let's see how she flies